Yo, welcome back to Stone Block 3. In this episode, ladies and gentlemen, we are going into the chicken smart. And you may have noticed in the minimap or on the minimap, we now have, well, two pigs, but we also have chickens. I had two spare chickens spawned in here. I bred them, so now we have two adult chickens and we also have one spot chicken, which honestly I thought would lay a ton of eggs, but currently has done nothing but lay eggs every now and then. Um, so I don't know what's different about the, the sky, but before we can start this episode, I think I am going to be needing a specific item. And so for that specific item, I'm gonna need to breed those two adult chickens and kill it. You see, I need, hey buddy, I need a feather in order to get started with the chicken spot, I'm pretty sure, with the chi uh, kitchen, uh, kitchen catcher? No, chicken catcher. <laughs> and uh, well, unfortunately, that means one of you will have to um, be, well, uh, yeah. Bad news, um, I didn't get a feather. <laughs> but no matter, we can get started without a feather. Because I have prepared in between episodes everything that we need to do. But before we do that, let me show you the draw system. I set this up in between episodes here. I added all the ingots and everything in the order that I liked. Even added a spot for our precious eggs. And yeah, I really like the setup. And as you can see, we have coal for days. The number has only gone up. And well, these sterling dynamos basically we have infinite power at this point. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna do when we start using more than 4, 8, 12, 120 RF, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. What we need to focus on are these chickens. So I have added a bunch of chickens here to the book box menu, and then I have added the breeder and the roost to separate them from the rest, because these chickens down here all depend on other chickens in order to be made. So these are the ones that we could actually craft. And I think we should craft these just so we have them, so that we can make the rest of the combinations that we want. Then I went ahead and looked through the rest of the chickens and I picked those that I really want, such as a supply of string, a coal chicken for even more infinite power, glass, gunpowder, you know, those things that we might need and might want just come to us directly without us having to worry about a farm. Now, as you may have noticed, to craft these chickens, we need to use the mechanical crafting from create. So for that, I'm gonna need a single cogwheel, and then I need to start worrying about different dies and different items. Uh, I think, you know what, I'm gonna place it there. I don't want it working just yet. Actually, yes, we can, because it is only going to craft once it either receives a redstone signal or the entire thing is full. So to start off, we got the cactus green chicken, we got the bone meal chicken, we got the red chicken, we got the lapis lazuli chicken. Some of these are very easy to make. I should have a bun... Okay, that's not quite a bunch of cactus. Um, yeah, that, that's definitely... How, how do we get green dye again? Oh, yeah. Okay, so something else that we can do is if we go to Botania, we have all of these flowers right here. And if I go ahead and find fertilizer the stuff right here. Well, I already have a stack, but if we, I think I've used, yep, I've already used all my bone meal. If we go ahead and right click this on Mars, as you can see, we get all of these fancy flowers made for us, which is amazing. And all these flowers will have different dyes. So for example, I'm pretty sure mystical green flower will give us mystical green petals, and these petals can then be turned into their respected die. However, I'm not going to do that just yet. This is actually looking really cool. All right, I have used 20 of these fertilizers, and I was actually originally going to do a thing where you can place a petal down, and then you can bone meal it, and then you get another of the flowers. However, I think I have enough floral fertilizer, fo wait, what? Floral fertilizer, yep, I said it right. I have enough of this stuff to just basically make all the dye that I need to make for this to work. Now what I'm gonna do is take our 14 eggs out from this place and then I'm gonna place an egg in the middle and surround it with cactus green dye. Did I just place two on this? No, I don't think so. Okay, that's fine. Place the final one and it is going to combine it all and we should be getting a cactus green chicken. Yep, cactus green chicken. There it goes. Give it a moment. Combining it all. 
looks really cool and it all gets added and mixed together and magically just like so we have a cactus green chicken now this is the point where I would place it down and watch it walk around but I'm not gonna do that because I don't have said chicken catcher uh, due to obvious reasons but now I can go ahead and remove that from the item list and well we have plenty more to do I have white thigh. Let's get a bone meal chicken. Yeah, bone meal chicken. That's actually, I want two of those, I think. Because bone meal is something that I I feel like I constantly need, but I think the reason why I need it is because, well, I'm trying to get wheat and whatnot. So I may not need a bone meal chicken. We'll see. Uh, oh, they just despawned. <laughs> I thought the items would actually make it up here. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. If I didn't, uh, if I didn't say it or you didn't know uh, basically these chickens can generate resources for us so a resto chicken for example will generate well redstone coal chicken coal gold chicken gold diamond chicken diamond you get the point but that is then the bone meal chicken and i'm th i think i'm gonna go ahead and not ch not chicken we're gonna go ahead and make a little bit of a chess area over here actually we're gonna we're gonna i i have finally made gotten a use for this thing or we're finally gonna set this thing up for a usage and that is going to house this place is going to house all of our chicken stuff so these right here this is gonna be our chicken chest this is going to be our wall of chicken resource generation <laughs> and i guess this over here can be our chicken breeding setup yeah. So speaking of which, we need roosters. These are used to basically house the chicken and collect its resources. And the breeder is obviously made for breeding. So I want to go ahead and put the hay bale in there. And I think I'm going to make three of these to begin with. And then I'm going to make a ton of roosters here, eight of them. I had to farm a little bit off camera to get enough hay bales for it. But if we go here and place the breeders, well, first place a little bit of a table. And then place a breeder there, breeder there, breeder there. This will come in handy later. And then we can place a bunch of these roosters right here. And this is basically where a chicken would go into. So if we go ahead and take a bone meal chicken, place it in the middle here. It's sitting right there, nice and comfortable and warm. And this arrow basically shows us the percentage. And once the percentage hits 100, we are going to get bone meal. And then it basically goes... Well, keep, it keeps going, basically. It doesn't need food, doesn't need water, doesn't need anything like that. So that is cool. They also have stats. Now, I don't exactly know if the stats has anything to do with how fast they produce uh, the resources. I'm pretty sure that it does, but it's not something that I'm going to worry about right away. Right now, I just want to set things up. So yeah, you get the point. I need to go ahead and get red dye, I assume. Yep, red petals, red dye. Yeah, I just need to go ahead and craft all of these. You've seen how it's done now. And uh, I don't think it would be too interesting watching me craft. Well, how? oh, are you kidding me? Craft one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, wait, that's messed up. Uh, 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 quite a few chickens. So I'll be back when I have all the craftables crafted all right ladies and gentlemen after crafting a bunch on this machine we finally have all of the craftable i'm pretty sure anyway chickens honestly doesn't seem like that many seemed like it was more when it was over here but now we are finally able to make well more chickens oh wow i forgot i had this cleave out let's put that away it's a bit big for this area uh let's go ahead and make something simple like the coal chicken in order to get the coal chicken we need to breed together the flint chicken and the log chicken so if we go ahead and take that thing black if we go ahead and take the flint chicken and the log chicken we put them in here and i'm pretty sure i need to get some seeds i need to set more transmitters up uh seeds yep if i go ahead and just take it bunch of these and i give it a stack of wheat so we can see the percentage we need to well now just wait so i guess while that is cooking let's see if we can make something else with some of the other chickens oh i forgot the soul sand chicken yep that's something we need to do uh, i really want the lava chicken i really want the lava chicken which is of course a cold chicken and the nether quartz chicken emerald chicken is diamond and cactus green i need something that i can certainly do right now such as 
Well, I, I don't know. Aha! Redstone chicken is red and sand chicken, which I can definitely do. So red chicken and sand chicken. If we put those over here in the right booth, there we go. And yep, almost done. 90%. Is there another one that we can do? I really want obsidian chicken, but that's of course a water chicken and that. Oh, what's that? Okay, so what is going on here is essentially there is a percentage chance. So if we go in here, was it the cold chicken? I think I was making the cold chicken. Yes, the cold chicken. So it is it is a 20% chance. So now that we have the flint chicken, there was another one where I needed the flint chicken, which was, which one was that? Aha, we need to put the flint chicken and the sand chicken together to get a gunpowder chicken, which we can certainly do because I just got another sand chicken before. That is not what I needed. That's better. But we can go ahead and fetch a sand chicken, put it together with a flint, some wheat, and then we should get a gunpowder or a gun yeah, gunpowder chicken soon. And that's another log chicken, which I think that should be I'm gonna make this right now, which is why I'm making the soul sand. Which I can just go and do that. No wait, no, I need the soul sand. I don't need it washed. <laughs> oh dear. And there we go, we got a redstone chicken. We're gonna continue to get uh, sand and red chicken, but how? But however, however, I'm gonna take these guys out for right now. And I'm pretty sure, I don't know if they're gonna have different stats or not. I don't think they will, unfortunately, they do not stack. Uh, still got more flint chickens and log chickens. And still more flint chickens. Yep, and log chickens. I actually do want to go ahead and add a log chicken to this place right here because I would love having logs just being generated. But I feel like in order to speed this process up, I'm gonna need a bunch more breeders. And in order to get that, I'm gonna need more bone meal. And in order to get that, I'm gonna need to bulk wash some dust. Oh boy. Yep, look at that. We are getting logs generated. And there we go, we got a gunpowder chicken. Which means I can now go ahead and stop this process. Unfortunately, I don't know. I guess this has an EMC. This doesn't have an EMC. I don't know why that is. Anyway, uh, yep, still have not gotten whatever it is that I'm going for here. I've, I've completely forgot. Oh, yes, of course, the string chicken. So I actually want a water chicken. So in order to do that, we need to put a gunpowder chicken together with a snowball chicken. And in order to get a snowball chicken, we need the blue lapis lazuli chicken and lock chicken together. So I should have, yep, that's the lapis lazuli chicken. Hey, buddy, gonna place that in there together with the log chicken. Wait, and we should hopefully get a water chicken. This is quite the process. There we go, we got a snowball chicken. So now we can go ahead and compare, or compare, no, put together snowball and gunpowder. Snowball there, gunpowder there, need more seeds. And there we go, that one is off, and I still have not gotten a string chicken. A clay chicken would be really, really awesome. However, I'm waiting for a snowball chicken, which might happen over here because it's only a 20% chance that we'll get a water chicken. So, yeah. Oh, we got another snowball chicken, though. I forgot to stop this process. This is this is a lot to get, <laughs> to keep track of. A glass chicken would also be really nice. So that is a redstone and nether quartz together. That should be doable. We have the redstone over there. We have the quartz right here. Put those in there. Check all of these. We got another snowball chicken. That'll be useful. Another log one, of course. I still have not gotten a coal chicken. I think this one is the one that has been going for the longest. Still no coal. And it's even a 20% chance. And here I am getting the clay chicken right off the bat. <laughs> Boom. There we go. We got the water chicken. What did I need this one for? I can go ahead and make an obsidian chicken once I have a lava chicken, which I'm currently working towards. Prismarine shot chicken, that's interesting. Emerald chicken for prismarine crystal. Don't really want any of those, so I'm really just waiting with this one until we actually, oh, that's another gunpowder chicken. We can actually take those out now in order to make the lava chicken and then going ahead and make the obsidian chicken. But for making the lava chicken, I need the coal chicken and that's it. It's coal chicken, finally, finally. I was just talking about it. Another quartz chicken, where I don't have another, another quartz chicken. Uh, you guys can stop now. Actually, no, you guys can keep going. I want more coal chickens. That's a lot of clay. Actually, I'll get more during this process. That's a lot of redstone. And no more quartz chickens. I'm going to need to wait for this one. So a string chicken is ink black and a log. So a log chicken. And I should have an ink black somewhere. Uh, Ink black chicken. There we go. 
put those to work. And there we go, that's another nether quartz chicken put together with the cold chicken. We'll make us, hopefully, 16.6666666% chance a lava chicken. I, by the way, I dare anyone to count the amount of times I, I'm going to say chicken in this episode and put it in the comments. <laughs> There's no reward. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I dare you. Rest assured, I'm not gonna count how many times I say chicken in this video. That no, I'm I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. If if you want to, that's fine. I dare anyone to do it. There's no reward, however. I'm gonna go ahead and combine a bone meal chicken and a flint chicken. Uh, that's flint. Bone meal is up. Oh, nope. There we go. Fl yeah, bone meal and flint, which is going to result in. Oh wow, this can result in a lot. But I am after. The iron chicken, because with that I can go ahead and make the gold chicken, which can be used to make the blaze rod chicken, which I definitely do want. Finally, got the glass chicken, which I can use together with a gold chicken to make a diamond chicken. Gonna go ahead and make a glowstone chicken, which is gonna be a yellow chicken together with something that I have forgotten. Quartz, of course, makes total sense. We got it, we got a lava chicken. Hold everything, we got a lava chicken, and notice I didn't get another coal chicken from this process, but a lava chicken together with a uh, water chicken should hopefully give us an obsidian chicken. <laughs> this can be a bit confusing, but honestly, this process is actually quite fun. There we go, we got the iron chicken, which means we can now go ahead and make the gold chicken, which is just, oh, the yellow chicken, which is currently occupied. Now if we go ahead and combine the cactus green with clay, we should hopefully get a slime chicken. And another water chicken. You know what? Can't complain at all. There we go. Gold chicken, which combined with a lava chicken can produce a blaze rod chicken. However, I am currently waiting for the obsidian chicken to be made. That's another lava chicken though, so we can go ahead and... That's a glowstone chicken. Which one do I not need at this point? So this one. That was making a gold chicken, so we can put those two together. And that was gonna make the... Wait, what? Blaze rod chicken. Oh wow, I'm at the stage already. Boom, slime chicken, which together with... Blaze rod chicken, we can get... Uh, a chicken, but again, I am waiting. Oh, blaze rod chicken. There we go. We can go ahead and do that right away. Can put glass and gold chicken together and hopefully get a diamond chicken right off the bat. And boom, we got a glowstone chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of these, ch actually all of the chickens away. Let's, let's, let me, let me go through all of this, making sure that we have only the stuff that we need because my inventory is a mess. We got an obsidian chicken. We got an obsidian chicken. That is beautiful. You guys can keep going though. You, I still have not gotten that one. So I am currently missing a string chicken, which is currently in process. Uh, blaze rod chicken, which is also currently in progress. Netherite chicken, we're gonna be needing a cobalt chicken and gold chicken. Cobalt chicken is made with nether wart and gas here. Gas here is made with bone meal. Uh, okay, my brain is starting to explode. I got this, I got this. Bone meal chicken, blaze rod chicken, together makes Hold on, this one makes gas tier chicken. And with gas tier chicken, we can make a cobalt chicken. Very easy. I'm definitely gonna title this video, Diamond Chicken. I'm definitely gonna, oh, Magma Cream Chicken. Oh wow, that, that was a lot in one. Uh, I'm definitely gonna title this video, uh, Too Many Chickens, that's for sure. There we go, gas tier chicken acquired, which if I combine those two together, we'll get a cobalt chicken. And we are slowly getting there, ladies and gentlemen. Now this is not all the chickens that we can make, I didn't pick all the chickens from the chickens uh, screen right here, for example, didn't get the osmium, the aluminum, the tin and whatnot, but I did get the ones that I feel are going to be the most important for us to get. I also went ahead and placed a water chicken in here to see what we would get, and we get these water eggs, and like I said, it's like an on-off bucket, and it can be used, well, with a bucket and you get a water bucket. My question is, though, if I go ahead and take one and place it, yeah, it, it basically works. Just like a bucket would, and I don't have any blocks to, and I, out of range. Oh dear. Yeah, we got a leakage problem. There we go. So yeah, it's like it's like a one-off bucket, like, like it said. Now from some of these chickens, we can actually go ahead and pick some of them out, such as the lava chicken, blaze rod chicken, obsidian chicken, 
Actually, I don't need a, I don't know if I need a lava chicken. However, some of the things that we just want being generated for recipes, such as clay, slime, glowstone, maybe uh, redstone, definitely is something that I want generated. Quartz as well. Uh, so if we take something like this, then we can just go ahead. I don't know if I can right click this thing. Okay, it doesn't. That looks scary. But if I just place these guys in here, I'm definitely going to be needing more of these roosters. But for now, that's fine. All of these are now going to be generating items and using uh, some of the same methods that we did with setting up our drawer storage. We are going to connect this to our well drawers, actually. However, I'm still waiting for these guys to finish. Oh, there we go. String chicken at long last. I will actually need to make a little bit of a path from this wall over here and over to our storage to connect the inventories because as soon as they're connected it's going to be drawn into this and then this right here because uh, this priority is set to 100 whatever's in here whatever items are over there that belongs to the drawer will be put in a drawer essentially i can hear the popping i am definitely getting close so i think two three more blocks over and i should be right in the center of this thing Yep, there we go. Rooster, rooster, and hello? <laughs> rooster? <laughs> Not? Ah, there we go. I'm one up. That's fine. Perfect, actually. And look at that. We are generating obsidian, blaze rods, logs, clay, slime, glowstone, quartz, redstone, all the cool stuff that we will need for all of our stuff. And these are taking their time. Don't need you guys anymore because we got the spring chicken all set up. Now, what I believe we're going to be needing is this exporter right here, because it's going to be taking the items that are in the roosters and put it to the storage. However, I'm just really hoping it's not going to take the chickens. However, we are just going to see how that is going to go. I'm going to go ahead and make some cabling. And, well, we'll be needing however many exporters that we have roosters. But for now, let's go ahead and test this out. I will be needing to make some more... Um, what are these called? Construction course and improved processes. Need to do that real quick. However, if we is that a cow on the minimap? We got horse. Wait, wait, huh? We got horses? No, go away. We got horses spawning? Oh wow, we have horses spawning. And what on earth is that? What are you? Drink, drink me. Drink me. What are you doing in here? Drink me. Okay, I guess. I shall not ask questions. So if I go ahead and place an exporter on this one, which has obsidian, like so, uh, I guess I need to tell it what to actually export. So I'm saying export the uh, gravel here. And well, let's put another exporter there because they do connect. And in this case, it's slime bowl. So if I go ahead and say export the slime and then I lead the cable. Oh, okay, well, rip. <laughs> Back to our storage area here. And then somehow over to this. Like so. I think we should see the obsidian. Uh, num uh, oh, dear me. The obsidian number go up. So it is currently at 78. And the obsidian should be moving from that place to this place. We'll see in a moment. And unfortunately, that is not the case. So maybe the exporter is not what we need somehow. I could do something else, but I was hoping I would be able to do it with refined storage cables. I mean, I could just always use item cables and then export it all into an ender chest and then it'll end up there. So that might be something that we need to do. So I'm just going to test something real quick. If we place this here and place this pipe right there, we have slime bowl and the slime chicken. And I set this to output. The slime is being taken out, however, not the slime chicken. So I think that might be a simpler way of setting this up. Just adding a bunch of item pipes and then having them lead essentially into a or an ender chest that can travel back to our system over here. All right, here I have an ender chest. We just go ahead and connect all of these fellas together. 
And then with my pipe, I need to go in and say export to every single one of them. Why do I have raw chicken? You know what? I'm not going to worry about that. Um, <laughs> so, of course, we're going to get a bunch of ores in here as well. And it might be too much for the system to actually handle. However, I'm pretty sure it will get caught up pretty quickly. Now, while I have been doing all of that, we have managed to finally get ourselves an emerald chicken. We actually have two of them. We still have not, unfortunately, gotten our cobalt chicken. How rare is that chicken? 14.3% chance. Well, I suppose that's fair. However, I really do want my netherite chicken. But while this is doing its thing, I'm gonna go ahead and set up some more roosts because I want more chickens generating items than this, especially from this pile right here, like glass, uh, diamonds, uh, magma cream, y you get the point. Ooh, sand chicken as well is definitely something I want. Those should be all the roosters that I require, at least for the time being. This thing has still not produced a... What? What? A cobalt chicken? Wait, I don't have a cobalt chicken, right? Right? Yes. Okay, good. I'm waiting for the cobalt chicken. It has still not happened this entire time while I've been uh, just grinding for wheat, but I have sorted out the storage solution. So I have this other chest right here, color-coded blue, and this is where all the items from the chickens are going to be dropped. Then I have an importer right here added, and all I need to do is connect it, and things are going to be sucked out, and currently it is taking the obsidian, so we should see the obsidian counter going up as we speak. Which means this works perfectly. Now at the other end of the tunnel here, we just have a bunch of item pipes, which I now need to go ahead and set to export. Uh, which might be difficult for the ones that I can't quite reach, but I'm sure it'll be yeah, fine. Ah, perfect. So all of these go into this other chest right here, which you just saw before. Pretty easy setup. Oh boy, our storage is getting full. But literally the final thing that I'm now waiting for is for the cobalt chicken. Which, uh, actually I just realized I need one more rooster because I also want... A, a cobalt chicken uh, to generate, well, cobalt. Well, seriously, this thing has been going for so long that it ran out of seeds. Are you kidding me? At long last, the cobalt chicken is mine. And I found out why it took me so long. If we go ahead and take a look in this chest, you can see that it took me quite a long time to get, and that is because the soul sand chicken is not the ingredient for the cobalt chicken. You see, you need the nether wart chicken. I don't know how I didn't see this. I saw this and I thought, you know what, that's the soul sand chicken. And you know what, in my defense, they kinda look similar in a way, but it's the nether wart chicken. And you, if you are interested, you get that by combining a glowstone chicken with cocoa brown chicken, which you get from putting together a green cactus green chicken and a red chicken. So yeah, that's why I was never getting the cobalt chicken. I was using the wrong chicken. But now that I have the cobalt chicken, I can go ahead and combine it with the gold chicken. <laughs> and then hopefully then be able to get another right chicken. And just while that is cooking, I do just quickly want to note something. If you are setting something like this up yourself, I highly recommend, I know this is a mess right now, but I highly recommend adding things that you get from the chickens to drawers, because otherwise your digital storage is just gonna get full. I went ahead and took everything that I'm getting from the chickens and added it to drawers, and now all my drives are basically not as full anymore, and we're not in the we're not in the critical state anymore, basically. Another thing I noted uh, noticed as well is if I go ahead and grab this drawer and place it, say, over here in the corner, and then I grab my linking tool, I am unable to link it. Uh, link it. However, if I place it back here. I'm able to link it just fine. So there is apparently a limit to this thing and we can actually go ahead and count it. So it seems like there is a 12 block distance limit from the storage controller. So I guess that is pretty important and good to know. So I'll probably want to move this over there when I further expand the drawers in that direction. So yeah, there you go, a little bit of a tip. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, we even got a second cobalt chicken, but we got 
another right chicken, which can give us another right nuggets. And that concludes my chicken breeding process, at least for today. I'm gonna place another right chicken in the middle. Place the cobalt, that's not right. Place the cobalt chicken over there. Just gotta make sure that it's all being connected with the pipes correctly, which it currently isn't. Nope, that's wrong. Well, actually it's, it's actually not, but it would be nice if it's connected. There we go, perfect. And there we go, we got some cobalt nuggets and I'm pretty sure we will also have some netherite nuggets, which honestly I could add to a compacting drawer instead of normal drawers, as that will automatically take the nuggets and turn them into ingots or make them available as, uh, as ingots in the crafting grid here. So I might just go ahead and do that. Because if I take a compacting drawer, I might have shown this before, I add the ingots, you get the nuggets as well as the blocks, and those get, ava get become available in the refined storage uh, menu, which is awesome. So if I just plop these down right here, I go ahead and I lock them, first of all. Then we can take some cobalt into this one, and there you go, those are now available, and the nuggets as well, or the netherite as well, and we can now go ahead and link this to our controller. And there we go, everything has been linked up. And you know what? This is really satisfying and it was definitely worth it. As soon as you have enough eggs to get started with this process, if you're playing Stone Blocks 3, I highly recommend uh, getting a chicken set up really useful. But guys, as the chickens pop away behind me, we are going to conclude this episode and I really hope you have enjoyed it. In the next episode, I think we will be diving into some ore um, duplication stuff, uh, refinery, things like that, because currently my ores are not being automatically smelted, which is a bit of a pain. If we take a look over here, I have 46 iron ingots, 1700 iron ores, which could be ingots I should say, should be in it. So I want to get that sorted, uh, start taking a look at that. But yeah, like I said, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave it a like, subscribe if you're new, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and until then, goodbye. <laughs>